do that shit again and again and again. What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. What? <laughs> What's up, y'all? So today I'm going to be showing you how to root audio from your DAW into OBS. And this is for the purpose of live streaming or if you just want to screen record and make uploads for YouTube uh, while getting a clear audio signal from your software. Uh, what we're going to be using it today is a program called Osseo Link Pro. And this is totally free. Um, there is an option. So what we're gonna do is you search Osseo Link Pro in Google, um, or I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And then once you get to the website, you're gonna wanna click this link right here. It's gonna say Osseo Link Pro Tool. Click that link and then it's gonna download. Uh, hopefully you have your download settings to where it asks you, when you where you wanna download stuff before you download it. I already have this downloaded, so I'm not gonna uh, do it again. Scroll down and go to the patcher and uh like i said you can donate or you could just put zero and then hit download and after that it'll uh, start to download once again i already have it installed so i'm not going to do that i'm just going to go to the folder where i have it installed or not installed but downloaded and then right click on the app run as an administrator yes and install 16 stereo wdm devices I agree. Next. Install. Now it says complete it right here. And you're going to click next again. And after you do that, it's going to have this window. And you're going to uncheck this box right here where it says run Osseo Link Pro. And that's so the program doesn't run. And you'll be able to patch it. Um, then you're going to want to unzip this uh, patcher folder to extract all right click extract all and after you do that you come here and you right click run as an administrator on the uh, patcher once you see patch complete that means everything went right so you can just press enter and pretty much now everything is installed so now this is the part where you're going to have to link uh, FL Studio to Osseo Link Pro so mine's already there, but let me just do this for the sake of the video real quick. Uh, and, or not just FL Studio, but whatever uh, software you choose to use. So what you're going to want to do is go to your audio preferences and then switch your sound driver to Osseo Link Pro. Once it's switched to Osseo Link Pro, this window will pop up. And then you will be able to tell if you are able to hear uh, or actually you won't be able to tell anything yet because you didn't uh, link it to OBS. So let me teach you that. So now we're in OBS. What we're going to want to do is add an audio input capture device because what Osseo Link Pro is doing is making a virtual microphone input. Uh, so you put audio input capture device and then you're going to want to select mix zero one. Osseo Pro Driver. It loads up in different positions, so you're just gonna have to wait, find uh, Mix01. Uh, once you find Mix01, you should be fully connected. Uh, I'm gonna try to play some audio. so now you could as you can see the audio was coming out of the audio input capture which is pretty cool now um this was where i was having a problem was trying to get to uh hear myself out of my mic while um in fl studio this was really pissing me off like i've recorded this tutorial like ten thousand times so please if this is if this helpful if this is helpful like share comment subscribe whatever all that youtube stuff right uh so this was really irritating me so i came here to set up a mic track let me x this out i came over here to set up a mic track like i always do I put analog one which is what my mic is connected to 
Uh, yes, right. So, in FL Studio, uh, you're going to want to have external input only selected. I mean, if you want to print, if you want to print your, um, if you want to print your vocals, you could select these other options. But if you just want to record a dry signal, but while being able to hear the effects. You put external input only, but I still can't hear myself. As you can see in OBS, the audio input capture isn't responding to my mic. So what I had to uh, do, which took me so long to figure out for no reason, was where it says monitor external input. You click when armed or on. So whenever you select a track, it's already on by default. So we could put when armed. Now, after I put when armed, let me mute this. Now, when I put when armed, you can hear me through FL Studio. Uh, let's even try some. Let's try some reverb. Add a little reverb in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that reverb. I got that reverb. Yeah. You see, so now, now that everything is hooked up properly, you're able to get the full range of audio from FL Studio into your OBS. That way you can, you know, do what you gotta do. Um, anyways, I'm sick and tired of sitting in this chair and recording this damn video. This damn reverb pissing me off. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm getting tired of sitting here and recording this video. I've done this a million times. Fuck with your boy. Yeah, nah, but you know he do.